And the UC Davis Veterinary Hospital received their first few patients from the LNU Lightning Complex fire last night. CBS 13's Dina Kupfer spoke with the doctor who was treating the animals. Ferocious flames and suffocating smoke tearing through ranches and farms in rural Solano County. Unfortunately, many animals didn't make it out, but for some of those who did, it will be a long road to recovery. And we had two horses, two adult horses that um, came from the fire area. The UC Davis Veterinary Hospital is currently treating two horses with severe burn injuries. Ava, the 11 year old draft horse, has burns all over her body. She was brought in from the Quail Canyon area, the sole survivor of six horses. Ava's owner lost their home and truck in the blaze. Puzzler, a Welsh pony, is also being treated for burn wounds. Did the range of the injuries go from what, from first to third degree burn injuries? That means that the skin is essentially gone, and it actually uh, destroyed also the underlying tissue. The horses are receiving round-the-clock care and are provided with fluids for hydration and medicine for pain management. We are against something very critical because our skin, for all of us, is our largest. Uh, barrier, if you will, for infection. And if we lose that barrier, we have nothing to protect us. The doctors are also monitoring the horses for smoke inhalation, another type of internal injury that could have long term effects. We also have an ophthalmologist looking at their eyes because very often, if you burn your face, you burn your corneas. In addition to treating these burn victims, some of the staff are fire victims themselves. We have actually people here working that actually they, they lost something, either property or some of their animals, or they were evacuated themselves. But here they are. Everybody's here trying to help. It's all hands on deck to help a community and their four-legged loved ones heal.